All right, so what is up, everybody? I'm finna get ready to do this Kobe portrait for y'all. You feel me? I want to do a tribute for Kobe. So I got my 8x10 canvas right here. I got my video set up, and we finna do this thing, and I'm finna teach y'all how I do it. I'm finna show y'all every little step-by-step, -step, little detail about how I do it, and we finna just get into it. You feel me? All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna pick a canvas that's right for you. Whether it be a notebook paper or it be a sketchbook or eight by 10 canvas like I have here. You just want to pick something that fits what you're doing and that you can put your whole image on. All right. So great. So the next thing you want to do is you want to pick like a reference image. Like I normally go with like something that I feel um captures what I think I want to do in my head and then I try and get as close of an image to that as possible if that makes sense so um here I just looked up a picture of Kobe and I like the jersey and I know that I wanted to do something with like the jersey so I did that so um here I am I'm just doing the outline of what it's supposed to be like I'm just doing the outline sketches. All right, so once you got your outline sketch, what you wanna do is you just wanna just make sure that you're not doing too much detail. It's basically just like the groundwork. Like if you're doing um, anything that has like a mud, like a lot of detail and it's like very like, uh, like it has like a lot of textures and stuff like that, you don't wanna worry about that just yet. You just wanna worry about getting the base image in and basically just like the basic, shapes and where the the pace the placement of certain things are in first because it'll make everything else much more easier All right, so I got the whole base sketch down. Right now I'm just picking some colors out. I was gonna mix them, but for time's sake and for video sake, I'm just gonna just put them, um, I'm just gonna put them straight down like how they are. Um, if you guys want me to do like another like tutorial on like how to like mix colors and stuff and get like the exact colors of like everything around here, then just let me know, I'll drop another video. But let's get into the painting. Man. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a palette to put your colors down on. Um, you're gonna need a water cup to keep your brush wet. And you're gonna need some brushes, preferably some medium to like small ones, just because I'm doing a small one. But if you're doing like a bigger scale, then um, bigger brushes would be needed. So uh, pretty much just what I'm doing here is I'm just taking the colors just straight from the tube and just putting them down on my palette. So uh, when I get ready to paint, I just know where all my colors are. You don't have to put them in like any specific order. You pretty much just put them down on the, on the palette or whatever you're uh, doing it on. All right, so pretty much what I'm doing right here is I'm just filling in the space where the yellow is just needed at. I'm not worried too much on going like in between the letters and I'm not worried about uh, getting uh, in between like the numbers and the little spaces that are in between the numbers. I'm really just putting down the paint where it is needed. Also, another thing um, that I'm doing here is I'm just using like the side of the brush to get in between spaces that um, I can use with like a medium sized brush, but I don't have to necessarily use with um, 
a small brush, like I don't have to use a small brush to get in those spaces. I can just turn, what I did was I just turned my brush a little bit and just uh, use it from the side. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm pretty much just going over uh, my sketch that I had before, but I'm pretty much just doing um, an outline of what I had already drawn. So I just took one of my thinnest brushes that I had and just went over um, like the letters and the numbers that I had already drawn before. All right, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just fixing an area that I didn't like. It was um, when I was outlining the four, I had too much water on my brush and it kind of created like a little like smear. So I'm just um, taking my yellow and my medium brush and just um, filling in where the smear had um, been at and I'm just putting yellow over it so that it blends more into the background and that line is a little bit more straighter. All right, so pretty much at this point in your painting, you're pretty much done. You just um, add in the skin tone and you fix any mistakes that you felt you made and voila, there you go. You have your first piece. Um, I wanna thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video.